Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Okay, here's a, a customer at this establishment that took all these packets of salt but he did not use them, obviously. What is the logic in here of this? What is going on in America today? Look at this. Look at this. Unused packets of salt. Why on earth did he take all these packets of salt? You know what? I got an idea. Execution by pickling. Put people in huge vats of vinegar with spices. Death by pickling. How's that sound? Oh, Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, look at his hair, it's not even brushed. Boy, that's a that's a professor. Maybe maybe he idolizes Albert Einstein and wants to look like him. I think Einstein didn't even care about tying his shoelaces. Or, or, yeah. well, well, you know, usually brilliant people are very eccentric. I don't know why, but, you know. Yeah. So I can't get over that. The state of Pennsylvania alone reported 300 predatory priests, and the Vatican has been covering it all up. Just Pennsylvania. And but it doesn't surprise me that they it was reported to the Vatican and nothing was done about it. I, they had the Attorney General for a, yeah on, on CNN today. I was listening to the uh, Pennsylvania Attorney General and what's his name that was used to sit here, Ed Sullivan. Wait a minute, how dare you besmirch the, oh, excuse me. Well, what's worse is, is, is when people end up being above the law. Anybody. My favorite John McCain joke that Senator Lindsey Graham's stated was, what's the difference between a catfish and a lawyer? <laughs> one is a bottom-dwelling, scum-sucking creature, and the other one's a fish. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was cute. Or he should have really said, what's the difference between a politician backslash uh, lawyer? Yeah, <laughs> one is a fish, yeah, that was good, man. That was good. No, but he had a lot of um, cute jokes, you know, like like Yogi Berra used to have. My God, 
I think he needs. I think he needs a haircut. <laughs> I think he needs a more cut, not just the hair. Yeah, in the words of Eileen. Um, I come here every day by 3.15 p.m. I cleaned out my room. How many things did you, did you throw out, Eileen? Two things. I go, what about all the junk in your purse? No, she's a, um, what do you call a hoarder that can't be cured? Cr chronic? Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's like a pathological liar. I think the amulet, the amulet would be a refreshing thing to... Um, will Eileen ever be cured of her hoarding? Like a lot of hoarders. So her purse will always be full of garbage. Could you imagine what her apartment looks like? I don't know, the sky looks um, fairly clear, but it's still pretty damn. Hmm. So if she comes here every day, in theory, that means what she says about her brother might not be true. Yeah. There's, oh, your brother has power of attorney then, if he signs your checks, right? Or whatever, pays your bills, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, so if she does drive to Rochelle Park, what is she going to do? Bring her, bring her brother with him. They're going to say, "Who are you?" Oh, he, I'm her. I'm her. That's my sister. Why are you here? Are you a power of attorney? He's going to say no. <laughs> He's going to have to say no. <laughs> I mean, that, ha that has to be on a, filled out on a legal form. Somebody has financial power of attorney. She's got to sign it too. She didn't know whether she signed it or not. Come on, man. How does she sign things? With an X like a hillbilly? Maybe. Yeah, I'm coming out. Would be. I miss the days when... CNN used to be on over here. Oh, yeah. Instead of. I go to the hospital for a CAT scan today. When I was in one area, they had Fox on. It seemed so fake. I went to another area, CNN was on. What a world of difference. Oh, what yeah. What a world of difference. Oh, my God, you got CNN on. Fox was like, oh, it's Well, it's satire. It's not news. It's not you know what it's like? The national, the, uh, the investigate, whatever, National Enquirer or something, you know? It's a joke. It's, uh, and you know, a lot of people. Hillary Clinton was right. They are deplorables. But did you know a, um, this dude, um, well, he's a Trump, he's a Trump supporter. He, he said that Fox News is real news. Oh. I says, are you, are you, are you serious? They're RT television, Russian TV, they're communistic. They're stupid. They're pure ignorance. I think they say things just for ratings. They don't, they're not good. They're but they, they do hire very good looking uh, young women matter. with big breasts. You know. It doesn't matter. What do you think she's in on? Well, mm, Come on, man. yeah, well, they hire, Come on. they hire qualified people. Yeah, but it's also damn good looking too. But yeah, you're right. You're right, except the, the breasts are bigger on Fox. So what? Well, guys, it it's like a car dealer commercial. Guys it go... Doesn't mean I know, anything. I know. Guys go gaga over that stuff. One of the guys moved away. You know the New York barbershop? The two Moroccan guys? 
The tall one is the only one left, and he's got like a, a lot of people waiting in there. No, I mean, I, I, I waited because I thought the other guy was coming back. He says, oh, he moved. I says, you, you mean you're alone? I says, you better find somebody good just like you. Carbon copy of... Hey, he moved. He moved. That's what I thought. They honestly were. I thought they were. I like the job they do, but, you know, not if you have to sit there for... Where's the nearest supercuts to you? Panera Bread? Oh, the other the other strip mall. Oh, by Lowe's. Okay, so you have to make a U-turn. Maybe by the Fiesta Hut. You have to make a U-turn. Oh, Balavia Buick. Okay. Yeah, you are better off going to Prime. Yeah, and you don't get and you don't get haircuts that often. You know, you get it short. Yeah, I mean, not as short as me, but you get it short, and then then you color it. Believe me, he's not happy about being stuck. He told me that. I says, I, I'm really surprised because both of these are excellent. He says, oh, he moved far away. Maybe that's what he says, he moved far away. Maybe they had a falling out. Yeah. Actually, actually, human, actually, hair in general is. I don't know. I never went there. Uh, yes, I, I. Somebody mentioned he, he's the one in Heights, down further. I don't know, somebody told me it was good, but you can't go by one testimonial, you know. You know I mean, I, I used to go to uh, Chez, Chez Vincent, but he retired. He was in, on the boulevard in Hasbro Kites. He's an, was an older man, but he was good. I, I don't I, he, Never. I know where Anton's is, never been in there. Oh, really? I don't know. Then there's another one on the other side of the bull, on the corner, on the boulevard. That one of my, uh, my anatomy uh, professor always went to because he lived in Hasbro Heights. Um, he was a doctor and he says he goes there because he likes the girl that takes care of him is attractive. I says, yeah, but you know, how does she, is she good? I mean, you want a good haircut? <laughs> you, you could tell when somebody is really new is when they go snip, snip real slow. You don't have, they don't have confidence when they cut. Like, like the guys, the, the New York, the Moroccans, they're like buzz saws. Like, blah, 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 tick, 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 tick. That's how Ches, Ches Vincent was before he retired. He was like real fast. But he, but you know, they've been doing it for God for, for decades. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Let me guess, you have to drive up Route 17 North. But that's... 
sports car you can be on the back of the road. It's a sports car with super gap. That should be after the... That should be after the rush hour, right? If you go to Paramus. Yeah, because the problem is not Paramus for Route 17, it's Rochelle Park. Because you only have two lanes. Yeah. Yeah, once you once you get to uh, PetSmart and Garden State Plaza, you got my three or four lanes, I think. Oh yeah, I'm curious to hear what Giuliani said recently. Truth is not truth. Hey, he has something in common with Eileen. Truth is not truth. Oh really? Sure it was. <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, even Sherlock Holmes, ha half asleep, could figure this one out. Oh my God! How timely is that? From what I understand, all, all the kids at the border were not re reunited with their moms yet. There's a lot of a lot of kids that are still being. Oh man! Oh yeah, Point Pleasant Beach, where you're not allowed to bring food or beverage. You can't bring your pet. You can't. You can't smoke. And guess what? I had to pull my kite in because there was an ordinance about flying kites. You know how long it took me to pull my kite back? It took me 25 minutes. I had it so high up. Because when you're at the beach, it goes right up. And my answer to the, um, the uh, uh, Ocean County police officer was, Mike, I says, I have a parafoil kite. There's no solid parts. It's all parachute material. How could it hurt anybody? He says, it's not that. It's the ordinance started during World War II because German U-boats, German spies were, were, were signaling U-boats from... <laughs> I said, he says, I, my hands are tied. I'm sorry, sir. I can't even... I says, wouldn't it be good to just change the stupid, outdated ordinance? Yeah, you have a pot, you have the mayor or the whatever or the council look at it and say, what? U boats? Yeah, you yeah, know, that's, that's enough. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. I looked them up. I can't find. I can't find nothing about Tiny either. Oh, you can feel the, the humidity here, cause I don't. I don't think. I wonder if Daisy has it cranked up. Oh, central air. Huh? Of the table? Oh, I'm not even thinking about the table. I'm thinking about the air conditioning. Central air conditioning. I, if it was me, I, if it's over 90 Fahrenheit, I crank it up. Because we're near the window, which... But you know what's funny? You go, when you go to the men's room, 
it's so cold back there when you walk in in the back you'll feel it and then when you go inside the men's room you can hang up uh, salami you can hang up uh, sides of uh, pork shoulder oh now I'm getting hungry I went to all these and they had smoked smoked knockwurst and bratwurst but it's a, Ger a German owned uh, supermarket chain Aldi A-L-D-I you have to bring your own bags though yeah, so they had knockwurst and um, and bratwurst. No, I, I, I get I get um I bring very strong nylon laundry bags from the dollar store, the dollar zone. I'm not paying for bags. But they have German food there. They have imported uh, sauerkraut and you know, yeah. Yeah, I can never eat American roadkill hot dogs. Frankfurters, never. I'm used to the, the good stuff. Speaking of good stuff, we used to have it on television. It's called CNN. Who, who's coming down the stairs? And they got to make a big, a big... Look at these idiots. Look at these, look at these 500 pound women dancing. People are so star starstruck in, in, in this country. Oh, yep. You know that. You know what that hug means. That's like a new kind of hug when they bend forward and they. <laughs> I still can't figure out who it is, but it's a politically correct hug. Oh no, don't tell me she's doing what Oprah did, giving away money. She's not giving away nothing. I don't even know what, the sponsors, they're the ones that put up the gifts and the, and the cash to give away. She ain't giving away anything. She's, she's pulling an Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, let me, let me do it. I come here every day at three fifty, at least three fifteen p.m. Mark my word. Next time I see her, I'm going. I'm going to bust her chops about this every day thing that she told me about. Because I asked her point blank, when do you usually slither in? <laughs> and that was her answer. She's a good source of entertainment. Because she'll never, she'll never, she never really changes. She never, she never really gets better. For the simple reason is she doesn't listen to people when they talk to her. That's, that's her, that's her problem. People don't get it. Uh, this guy, Salvatore Mercurio, posted a banner that says, if you had a hammer and you pounded somebody in the head with a mallet or a hammer, if they, you just can't, you just can't, sink, it won't sink in. With some people, you can, you can hit them in the head dozens of times, it won't sink in. I'm sure they hold up banners to make everybody cheer and clap. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. You know, when I was in, when I was in Baja, Mexico, every, every in-ground pool was like a bathtub. When you put your feet in it, it felt like it was 90 degrees. The desert, you know why? Because it is Sonora Desert. I mean, it's dry heat, but so is a pizza oven. 
No, we, but it took, I didn't know it was 2,000 miles long, the, the, the Baja Peninsula. 24 hours, not, not counting stops, sleepovers. Well, if you went straight through, it would be 24 hours of driving. I had no idea how long that peninsula is. I mean, granted, the desert's beautiful. I mean, so is the Sea of Cortez. It's like a, tur um, a royal blue. Now, Marie Osmond, she looks great for her age, but you can tell she's loaded with makeup. There she is. I used to work for Nutrisystem. I had a, I had a temp job one time, and uh, they used to offer me the food for, for my lunch hour. It was the most disgusting. It, it, it was almost like eating tasteless like tofu with no, no seasoning. It was horrible. Even the franchise owner says, I wouldn't eat this shit if you paid me. Oh no, another Broadway show? I tell you, if Eileen really comes every day, this can be a Broadway show. Oh, reality, well, I was gonna say reality show, but that's a pretty scary reality. Well, that makes, that uh, debunks the fact that he's my guy then. You know, if it looks, walks and sounds like a duck, it's a duck. In order to have a significant other, you have to kind of like see them. Speaking on the phone occasionally doesn't count. What's the word they used to use in the old days to consummate the relationship? They also use it for a can of Campbell's soup, but that's different though. And here we go to clapping again. I turned 60 and it wasn't beautiful to me. I guess if you have big bucks, it's beautiful. Who is that? Len Close? How is the air by the pool? Is it beautiful? Oh. You should. Um, um, hmm. I'm surprised you haven't gotten a cheap pair of bathing trunks. Come on, get the cable back. That's because if if we were a different, if we had a different complexion, they would listen to us up front. Oh. Must have went to the restaurant. It's 
funny why they call it a restroom. In school, they called it a lavatory. When are your results coming back? You mean the... the Are you kidding me? You know what's funny? They give you an appointment, right? But your time is doesn't count. Their time is more valuable than your time. A five-minute CAT scan, an hour and a half wait, about? This is Holy Name and Tenic. Well, my hernia procedure, I had to sit in the room for like several hours. And then they had the nerve to charge my ins insurance. Bees invade Times Square? I guess this event was meant to be. Look, 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 look at this. Look, look, look. Hold on. What the hell is the matter with this? Damn it. Yeah, just, just... Just when I wanted to get a shot of him walking away with the shirt out, the phone malfunctions. I wanted to catch that, you know, with the banana sign in the background. Oh, he's been parking on that side lately. Really? Well, well he is, he is eccentric. Oh boy. Why does he even have a vest on if it's over 90 degrees? I guess he wants to look professional. Do you know some, re some restaurants in New York actually have commercial beehives on the roof of the skyscrapers? And they, and they, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, wow. Wow, 98 in Harrison? That's by Newark. Oh my God. I call that the heat index. Damn. I'm surprised we're even out. Oh, that's, that could be dangerous. Oh, jeez. New York subways are filthy. I don't know if you've ever been in one. Ugh. See that guy, all the packets of salt he leaves? He has so many pe packet of salt and he don't even use it. Oh my God. Yeah, and if they go if they if they go to a homeless shelter, there's so much riffraff in there that's actually they don't want to go in there. That's because they don't enforce anything in the homeless shelters. You hire you hire a few tough bouncers, and they'll they'll behave themselves in a homeless shelter.
Got to break a few eggs to make an omelet in this world. Oh, he, he's got his jack. He's got his suit with him too. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it's very dangerous for the, for the elderly, without a doubt. I remember as um, I might have been in eighth grade. Me and my grandparents, well, my grandfather, we drove to my uncle's house in, in Maryland. He's on the Chesapeake Bay, right? Uh, Saverna Park, which is not, you know, south of Baltimore. He shut the windows. And the air conditioner, when we got back home, a week, uh, two weeks later, the candles were half melted. Of course, it has to be investigated. You always have to investigate these fires. For insurance, you know, insurance uh, for insurance reasons, some uh, arsonists. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do?